Hi everybody. Um, so how is everybody today? I am, as you will know, went to see our um Andrew Paisley today, and I had a fantastic day out. It was awesome. Um, I'm quite tired now, so you'll probably hear it in my voice, but. I didn't want to put my goodies away and not show you what I bought because I did, but you know, I know you all said about filming when I was shopping, um, but I did take my camera, but I forgot to take the batteries to go in it, so that didn't go to plan, but I can show you what I have got. Um, so, a couple of things I bought for my mum while I was there so I'm not going to show them on film because she's away at the minute and I don't want her to see it before I actually give it to her in person but I have I did buy a couple of things um and sort of come on with a box full of stuff but I saved it for it and I went so I'm going to show you run through with you um I bought three different widths now this is cream and again, it doesn't help when the cellophanes are on. There's the cream, and that's how much you get on the roll. Can you see that? So there's the cream, and that measures. Oh, that's coming down now. That measures. I'm going to try and measure them for you, so you. Um, this is all from the same shop. So this is half an inch. This one's even smaller, so that this is a centimetre. But this one has got like it's light cream on the outer edge and then dark cream on the inner edge and again there's tons absolutely loads so i've got some of that then oh no this is exactly the same one so exactly the same ribbon except it's a different width so this is a centimeter wide and again all that to play with so it's exactly the same um if there's nothing in there, I promise you, my dog's going through my box. <laughs> right, okay. And then I got some of this ribbon. I thought this was pretty cute. Um, it's cream and it's got like spots on. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. There it is. See? And there's loads, absolutely tons. Um, so there's quite a bit of that in there. That's sort of half what you see in there. Then I got some of this fabric, um, some of this ribbon. I quite liked it. It was uh, pink and a bit of tilt of green in it. Now, I can't tell you the price of each item because I haven't got my receipt next to me. But most of the items were 50 pence, a pound, 75 pence. Um, some of the other items that I did pay a bit more on, I... I will know by looking at them, so I'll be able to tell you. But other than that, they were sort of under about £2, which is really good because to buy a whole ribbon, um, I mean, it doesn't say how much is in there. That's ivory. There's 10 metres on that. So, you know, to buy a whole ribbon for under pound fifty seventy nine pence is, is, is a bargain. So I've got some eyelash trim. Um, I think they call this eyelash trim. I think, I think so. right, and then I got some of this lace, and again, oh, the cellophane's going to do my head in, right, there, now you can see it better, and I'll be able to tell you, there's tw 10 metres as well on this, there it is, so, crochet trim then i got this in cream um i've had this before um and i quite liked it so i bought some more and i bought um this is in like a brown coffee color so i got it in brown and cream and again these were like a, a 75 pence they weren't a pound i think they were 79 pence most of the things i got on the shop were on sale now these were a little bit more but the pins what angie said to me what she did was she buys these and basically they stick pins but 
if you snap this sort of two there, right, if you prise them apart, then snap the wire off, this becomes a flat head. And then you've got like a bead in underneath. So there's loads in there to play with. And just have a look to see if no it doesn't say tell me how much. Um so like I say, I thoroughly enjoyed my day out. Um <laughs> I yeah, I really enjoyed it. I had this on the reel. This was something like I can't remember. I wish I had the receipt in front of me. Um, but this is a full reel. There's you know no bits have been cut off, nothing. It's just a full reel, which is fantastic because I go through this like nobody's business. And um, they had different as angie's probably told you all before but they've got like different pearl strands on reels like this and i think this one was if i remember right it was about three four pound between three four pound i might be i might be completely wrong but i think it was three four pound um the chunky one sometimes that angie uses i know that was a little bit expensive but other than that um yeah, that was three four pound. Now I bought some of these. They are you can probably find them in home bargains or anything like that. But they're basically little rhinestones, little stones, and they're for putting in like dishes in in an ornament dish. But I'm going to use them for a canvas. And Angie said, "Why are you picking them up?" I said, "Because they would be perfect on a canvas, mixed media canvas." And this was a pound. This was one pound nine. If I remember right. Then I picked this up. Um, and some of the items there were 25 pence. So I think this was 75 pence, something like that. Then I picked these up. Now this gave me an idea. I weren't gonna just take the idea. I wanted to pick them up to sort of look at them. And at first glance, you think, oh, that's how they've done them. See? So I want to have a go and make it my own. But not only that, they're on little pegs and they would look perfect on my loaded uh, loaded envelope. You know how I'm doing a loaded envelope at the minute? They look perfect on that. Um, so I'm hoping to make it out of some of that ribbon that I bought. I bought some of that. Now, these. These were 50 pence. These were 50 pence because the man had to go back so I picked up the... They have a packet that's already open for you to sort of see what, what what's all about. Now, I originally thought there was two in the pack, but there's not. There's four. There's four Flutterby Angel Wings for 50 pence. Now, I don't like anything that's glittery. And Anne said, why have you picked up everything that's glittery over there? Because I said, I'm going to gesso them. My idea is to gesso them. From there, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, it, you know, they might remain pink yet, I don't know. But the thing is, I I like them. So I got them in the small, and then I picked up the big, big, which are these. Pick, there was two of these in the pack, but I gave Ange one because she fell in love with them. So I gave, I shared my pack with her, and they were 50 pence as well. So, then I got some of these. I can't wait to use. Um, I bought two packs of these. Two packs. Then I got this to Walter. And the hole in the middle is to put a picture. It's an actual butterfly picture frame. So I got one of them. A bow. Glittery bow. I did buy a lot of things that were glittery today. And then these were on actual wings. And I saw these first of all from got they were in my basket. But I have got another, there's a small one and there's a medium one there. So I've got a small, medium and large. Right, let's bring a few more bits out. Then I've got four of these. These were 79 pence. Four. And I'm just going to quickly show what ones they are. I haven't got anything like these and I've always... You know, when you go into a shop, it's something that I always forget to pick up um, our wooden shapes. Um, but I've got a few now. So I'll be doing projects with them for definitely, definitely, definitely. 
So I'm going to put them there. Then I have some letters. See what you think why I've got the letters before I bring them all out. There's a big C, A, K. Any ideas? I, T, N, S. You probably guessed by now, but in case you haven't, Y, R, N. This spells con country creations because I want to do. I'm going to be doing it. This obviously have to be done in part because they are separate letters. Um, I bought the the two big letters, so the big letters were the C and the K, and then I bought little letters. So I'll be doing them in parts, um, and that will become a project as well because I wanted to go on my wall. Right, the other things I bought: oh, double-sided tape. Look how much you get. What does it actually say? 50 meters you get that's madness and i think that is with my ruler on i think that's an inch no it's a centimeter but it's double sided tape i'm running out of these were stunning and i picked them up and you'll probably find these in the range because of the packaging i recognize the packaging usually when i recognize the packaging is come from the range the gold leaves oh my days so they are adhesive gold thieves there's 18 pieces in there i'll be having fun with them then i picked up these flowers now these are different shapes to the ones i usually get they've actually got petals, petals to them they've got all the way around them it's rolled in the center but it's got a real beautiful shape so i picked up some white to dye them of course Oh, I picked up these. Chris found these. And Andrew was quite surprised, actually. Chris is he's really good. When he's out shopping with me and we're looking for craft stuff. Um, and I was running low on quite a few things. And he, we were going around. And he said, Claire, are these the ones you're on about? And they're little bags, they are. Um, they're little bags. And they got a little Velcro opening. And you can decorate the bag, of course. But... I thought, wouldn't that be a perfect size to put my little goodies in for my loaded envelope? Or um, Eleanor Gargoyle, your card might be coming in this because I want it to be protected when I send it off. So it might be going in one of them. Then I bought a Joy. I did buy a Joy with stars on. Oh, I bought these. These were 50 pence, the Ganza bags. So they say three times four inch Ganza bags, pack of 10, 50 pence. I can't moan up that. I mean, what's on sale at the time is on sale. So the other bags were like 199. Um, they were more than 50 pence. 199, 150. And they were the only ones that were on 50 pence. So I picked them up. Then I picked these pearls up, which oh, I'm so excited at. There's a big pack of, like a tub pack full of pearls. And it doesn't say how much there is, but I'm guessing there's quite a lot in that tub. And that was like 79 pence. So if you've got a country basket near you, go in and look because you'll be surprised at what you can pick up. Right, then I picked up, now they, they had this on the roll. Um, and it's mesh and I was pondering about it for ages and Chris sort of he sort of goes up and down the aisles and he goes what about this Claire what about this and he came back with this in pink and it was a big big round thing and I think it worked out the big tub of this was something like seven pound but you would never run low of this ever again and I said yeah but what the heck I think it was cheaper than two fifth no it wasn't seven pound or was it? I can't remember. But I know Angie's bought one. So Angie will be able to tell you. Um, but I said, what am I going to use it for? And then I had a little one. And I thought, well, I know what I'd use some of it for. But not all, you know, that big 
chunky thing. So I haven't bought the big chunky thing, but if I run out of this, I might go back and buy the big chunk. Okay, then I thought, again, these were on a reel. Um, three, three fifty, something like that. I mean, I haven't got the receipt next to me, so I'm unable to tell you the prices. But like I say, the big, the the things that cost a lot more money, I know by looking. Okay. Um. Then I got some. Then I got some brown thin ribbon like a coffee color and then this has got um cream gold it's got cream and gold organza with a gold line all the way through it it's absolutely gorgeous so i bought some of that of course i did then i bought this this was 50 pence and i thought why not yes it's glitter but i'm not going to use it as it is i am actually gonna um take it apart i think I have a project in mind to use it for, but like I said, I did pick up a lot of glittery things today. Okay, let me have a look. What else? Oh, one of these. Now, there's loads there to play with. Look, these are the little flowers. No, these are the little flowers, look, see? And there's tons there. There's beads. There's, there's just tons, absolutely tons. Is roses so i'm gonna have great fun bringing all that apart angie spotted that not me they went in the basket all the same now this is 79 pence and again it's going to be really great for my mixed media projects i might even use this on my miniatures because it's just about the right size for like pebbles on the floor but that was 79 pence and a lot of things that i picked up today was in um, so, was in sale. So, now the things I'm about to show you now are a bit awkward to fit on a, a long stem. I will try my very bestest. So, the first things that I'm going to show you, I'm not attached to this as well, these. Look at them. They're acrylic flowers, they are. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous and i might and you've got acrylic leaves on you know i spotted them but i might use them as they are because they're just they're just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so they were like 50p these were 50p because they were in the sale line now this was 50 pence and at the time and i don't think i see why i picked it up and then when we got to the tail she said oh yeah you cut this down I'm not taking this out the pack because it's glittery and I'm going to have glitter on my hands to last my lifetime. But there is one, two, I think there's about four leaves. It's pink glittered leaves. And as you can see, there's a good length to them. They're not, you know, they're not small. They're about 18, 19 inches, the leaves. So I can cut them down and use as it is if I want to. Right, now the next thing I picked up was these. Oh my days. I originally picked this up for my crafting. But I'm doing my haul out. And these are white glittered. And they would look really good in the vase that I've got. Um, I might keep a few back for crafting. But yeah, they've got loads there. They've got home deck all just tons. Could have spent all day there. Right, so the other flowers I have are these. Now, these have got um, like a frost effect to them. They're so pretty and they would look perfect on a Christmas project. So I got some of them. Now these were 50 pence because they were in the sale line as well. And as we were leaving, I think the guy said that all the Christmas ribbon is on sale as well at the minute and all the ribbon was down in price. So I got this. This is a big white um, rose. And again, I originally picked it up for my crafting, but since I bought the white glittered um, rings, I might not take this apart. I might use as is 
Um, I'm putting it in a vase. I don't know yet. I, I don't know. Because I did pick up other flowers up. But white and white would look beautiful. Then I picked some of this green stuff, leaves. They're like a minty kind of green. Gorgeous. And then I've got the stems, of course, in the centre. Oh, gosh. Then I picked... I picked some of these up. Again, they glitter on that and a bit of, like... It feels like frost. That's the only way to... It's got some on the stem, look. But it's all on the flowers. Now, they were 50 pence. Chris spotted this and he went, Clat, clat, it's those butterflies that you like. I've always fancied one of these in um, the shop and it's one of them things like, again you just walk past and go yeah that would look really nice in so what I'm thinking is I'm going to put a mic and show you what you're going to do you're going to take it all apart or what you're going to do so what I was thinking of doing was using some of the flowers and I might not all use all those white stems but using some of the flowers and and this butterfly especially um, like I say, I've got a really nice vase that I want to decorate up because we're doing the whole way out and they would look really nice in there. What I did have, and I did buy, um, cracker packs. Now there's 20 in a pack and there's 8 of us. So this will do two Christmases because they've got the snaps and the crackers already. I did do this on a live once and showed you how you can cut your own crackers out but you can buy them in pack forms. So don't be frightened because you can buy them in pack forms. Look how tiny these little boots are. They're tiny. They're so cute. Um, I loved, I just loved them. They're so, so, so cute. So I don't even know whether I'll do anything with them because I love them the way they are. They're so super cute. There are loads of Christmas stuff there. Okay. Another pack of those roses and some pins. Now these were these 144 pieces. They're in white and these were on sale too. Um, I think they were down to all the rest were like I can't remember. They I know I paid under a pound for them. They were in the sale line. And I bought some bits and pieces from my mum too while I was there. Now, if you haven't been to Country Baskets, um, I know Angie's introduced me to it. Go and have a look. Go and have a look your nearest one because they do absolutely immense stuff. Um, and it's just like a big warehouse. And you could shop all day um, there and still not be bored because... It's a really huge big shop. There's loads there to keep your mind whizzing with ideas. Um, and we then, after we had gone to um, Country Baskets, we went out for a meal. And we went into this like sit down. Um, it was like a sit down bar thing. Um, a bit like a Tobri, but it wasn't a Tobri carvery. It was, um, you went up and you they cut your meat and then you put veg on and that kind of thing so we'd all eaten our dinner and i spotted the cake um dessert stand and there was this ice cream now i'm sorry if somebody's going to display something in them i thought they were displaying to say this is what you get if you order right so there was this now as you all know i don't like halloween at all but there was this skull um, it was like a timber glass and it got all ice creams all pretty up it was beautiful so, so it says um, Chris I won that so Chris went up and he says they don't do that so Andrew went wait a minute so Andrew went up and says um, can we have one of those skeleton timber things sorry that's for display purposes you don't actually get that and I was like, well, why say that you're going to get, you know, why why put it in the, in the stand? So anyway, I couldn't make my mind up what I wanted to eat. And this girl 
um, this waitress, she was taking out plates from their table. And I said, oh, what desserts? Because they were taking so long, man. It was like Christmas by the time they came back. Anyway, so this girl says, oh, there's a Maltesers cake. I said, don't worry, I'll have that. Maltesers, fine, I'll be fine with that. And she came back and this Maltesers cake was absolutely, it was cut perfect. It looked absolutely perfect. Well, I took three, four mouthfuls and I begin to get quite, it was really sickly. And uh, and she said, oh, not for she said, let me share it. So she got a cup of dessert. She went, well, eat up. And I said, I can't, I'm just really, really sickly. She went, no, it's not. I said, well, you have three, four mouthfuls and then tell me it's not sickly. So she had three, four, I think she had two mouthfuls. She went, no, nah, that's sickly. And Chris went, oh, give her a few girls ain't going to be to pass it out. So he had a mouthful and then turned around and said it was sickly. So the lady that, when we were coming out, the lady said, did you enjoy your Maltesers cake? And she went, and she went, no, it was sickly. And the lady went, really? She went, yes, this woman tried this um, cake. And she went, and she went, if you have three mouthfuls of that and you don't feel sickly, uh, you know, you can eat the whole cake. She said, I'll pay for you to have a slice to take home. So she, she had two slices and she really, you could see in her eyes, oh my days, you know, somebody's going to pay for the third slice. So she had two slices. She went, oh no, that's sickly. Oh, why? I don't, I'm not for stuff. So I kept winding Anja in the meal. So yeah, I we had great fun. So, that we, so we went for the meal and then... We went back to Angie's. I got in the car and I came home because we'd spent so long in country baskets <laughs> that it was an absolute immense day. I loved every second. I love all my goodies. I've even come away and bought my mum a few things. So she'll be quite happy when she comes away from her holidays. Um, and like I say, I just... I loved it. I loved every second of it. So I can't thank you enough and for showing me and telling me about Country Baskets. Because if it weren't for you telling me, I would never have known. Um, so thank you again. And uh, yeah, I had an amazing time. So what we're going to do from now is every few months, we're going to save our money. And we're going to go up there and we're going to do like a binge haul in Country Baskets. And that's what we're going to do. Um but I will tell you all, and of course I'll show you what I bought from Country Baskets. Um, apart from that, I had these projects here that I can't wait to try. I can't wait. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you once again. So thank you all for watching. Look out for the projects that are coming up. Um, like I say, they it'll definitely be coming up. And she did give me a few bits and pieces. Um, she also gave me an, a brand new um, paper pad. I'll show you what. If I can get at it, because everything else is in the way. Oh. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, yeah, I can. Right, so this was the paper pad that she gave, kindly gave me. And these are all the papers that are in there. Um, so I'm going to quickly scan for you to see why I'm so excited to use these papers. And they're right up my street. I cannot wait to use them. And there's, of course, there's more on the back. I love this. I love that and I love that one. And I love that one and I love that one. And I, I do like that one. I do like that one. Tiny roses. I love that one. And I love that rose. I love that one. And I love that one. And I love that one. Oh, I just love them all. Um, and she gave me a few bits and pieces to play with as well. So thank you, Manji, for a lovely day. Me and Chris thoroughly enjoyed. Chris enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I love winding you up. <laughs> we had we laughed we smiled we giggled we lost each other in country baskets because it was so big they never they didn't know what i went <laughs> um but i had a wonderful time and i just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart um for 
let me come up and shop for you um and i will speak to you all very soon um and i'll catch you in my next project bye for now bye now <laughs>